see you guys. So listen, like real quick, I want to talk about the video that I just posted about, you know, something magical coming out of consultation. It's pick and choose your battles, what it is you want to do. But like, you know, when you're trying to confront something, you know, it's, it's the fear. You have to be, um, you need to listen. Okay, first of all, because you're not listening to your intuition, you're not listening to guides, you're not trying to find the best way to resolve something, and that's tough. So if there's something that needs to be approached, or there's a, 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 a certain alter alternative way, like you need to go towards something. So it's like, you know, just trying to be a, a good listener when it comes to what's going on, you know, it's, it's understanding what's causing this fear, it's and, and then addressing it and, and, you know, getting rid of it, you know, whether you do cast a spell or you do moon work, whatever it is you do, whether it's writing it down on a piece of paper and, send, you know, burning it and sending it to the ethers, you know, it's just keep calm and try to control your emotions. It's like, you know, it's what you need to do. It's the simple steps, but yet you don't do it. It's being avoided in this situation, you know, and it and the best I can explain it is, is sit back for a minute and look at it in somebody else's point of view without negativity, okay, uh, a more of a positive out, outlook and, and make sure you're taking blame too and recognizing the role that you played in that. So sometimes if you need to give the other person options to, to get through something, then give options or give yourself options. It's, yeah, you know, the most important thing to me is literally compromising, you know, in certain situations and, you know... If it has to do with work, it's it's the same thing, you know, just follow through with your plan, you know, develop a plan, follow through with it, build build on your success. Um, when you're angry and you want to shake something, just, it's the adrenaline, it's, it's hormones, it's, you know, you're fighting for a response, but it also, if you just breathe and take a step back sometimes, you know, it has a lot to do with your oxygen levels too, all right, with anger and emotion and it's just, it's a lot of things. There's a whole bunch of different like strategies to do, you know, but I'm telling you to avoid something is, is putting you in a compromising situation and it's preventing you from completing a cycle. And that's, that's no good, you know? So when you're nervous, you know, just try to shake it off. Um, change your, your train of thought. Um, the best you can do, maybe try sprays, incense. Um, it's hard not to be, you know, nervous when it comes to stuff, but the, you know, tell yourself, decide, I want to stop fighting, you know, like I'm, I'm tired of these nervous feelings, you know, like, I don't know why I keep saying you like, you like, but you know what I'm trying to say. So it's just open, open the gates up. All right. You see that 111, you see the 1111, it's, it's opening gates, guys. It's, it's more than what you think it is. It's, it's, it's positive reinforcement. Okay. Um, don't put a limit on things, especially a time limit. You know, once you start taking things out of the equation, it tends to, to work better for you. Um, and I know like when you're nervous, sometimes your, your speech is affected. And so some people will even worry about that stuff. It's like, just take some big breaths, you know, positive uh, visualizations like I was talking about, you know, adjust your surroundings. So if you don't feel comfortable somewhere, you know, find a place of, of comfortability, um, you know, because only you can transform this nervous, nervous energy into something more positive, guys. So it, it's, it's a lot, you know, but I'm hoping, you know, little tips like that can, can try helping. Um, let me pull one card for this discussion for your best advice and, and see what they have to say. And I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. you know, shine. See the best in you too. Okay. Believe you can. Believe you can do it. It's the magic. It's, it's the joy. It's the hope. It's, it's the everyday happiness. It's the, all the talents that you have, you know, don't forget about how talented you can be with certain stuff. Like I think people forget to, to think about that stuff, like what you're good at and what you know you can achieve and how you manifest things and just seeing the beauty in things, you know, um, so you just, to me, I mean, this is the sun card. It's, it's also the growth. It's, you know, believing that you can do it, you know, believing through your thoughts that you can do it. 
it, you got to get on your path. It's just it's time. Again, it's that. It's the, I broke it down in numerology. It's a 10. It's the one. I know some people are um, definitely seeing the tens a lot, you know, but um, it's a beautiful thing. And over the weekend energy, when I pulled something, it was the world. It was completion of a horrible cycle that some of you must have went through. And, and now, I mean, gosh, I see that card and I just kept saying to myself, gosh, I hope that's me. I hope it's me too. And I, I pulled some cards on me and I got it. And it's like, I instantly cried and released because I was so excited that I completed something that was so hard and now I can move on and, and feel really good about everything because I know everything that I've done and gone through, it was done through purity and heartache and gosh, so much stuff guys. Okay. But now I know that cycle is over and what an amazing feeling. Okay. So just believe in magic, believe in yourself, find that hope, that joy. Don't forget about who you are either and the, the talents that you have. I think a lot of people, um, you know, they forget how powerful you are. You, you stop believing in yourself sometimes. So those little those little tricks, those little, especially tricks of the trade, writing down, you know, I, I rock at this. I'm awesome sauce at that, you know. So I'm going to stage the shit out of you guys and give you some magnesium spray okay do your best you know about to have a brand new start so cheers to a new beginning guys i love you guys so much love and light lots of healing i love you so strange i never say that and i just got the magnesium all over my laptop so now so now it doesn't want to pick up my fingerprints uh, to end the video <laughs> you gotta be freaking kidding me oh my goodness come on give me some magic Give me some magic. Oh my gosh, it really doesn't want to stop. What did I do? What did I do? Let me try that. Oily, slippery little spice. For realties right now? Well, the video's over, guys. Now it's just caught, caught struggling. What's on the struggle bus to end this video? Oh my goodness gracious, where's my mouse that has a dead battery? See, it just takes some persistence sometimes, you know. I took the battery out, I put it back in, I gave it a nice little reboot. It won't last long, it's temporary. But if you stop believing, you'll see things change. Love you guys. Bye. Go replace your battery. <laughs> Bye, guys.